The last pharaoh of Egypt, Cleopatra, was the original influencer of the ancient world. Not like your Instagram and TikTok faves, Cleo made powerful men bow to her bidding. Powerful men like Julius Caesar and King Herod, and even her lover General Mark Anthony couldn't say no. Was it her wit, her charm, or perhaps something redder? As young as Cleopatra was, she wasn't just a scholar, a linguist, and a chemist. Cleopatra was also a beauty. Spread across her mulcata were different beauty regimens. These ancient regimens were known only to her, but we traveled through time, watched Cleopatra, and found out that she used red ochre as one of her beauty secrets. We didn't just stop at one, we stole 10 essential ancient beauty secrets that Cleopatra held dear. Let's not keep history waiting any longer. Starting with Cleopatra's famous makeup routine that we found, red ochre. Forget Sephora, Cleo had her own ancient beauty aisle. The red ochre, a natural earth clay pigment mixed with fat, was her go-to lipstick and blusher combo. We're talking about the OG makeup ladies, no fancy tubes or brushes, just some dirt and water. Cleopatra, with her enchanting charm, stood in front of a mirror, delicately applying red dirt to her lips and cheeks. Hey, if it worked for the Queen of the Nile, maybe it's time to raid your garden for some beauty inspiration. Cleopatra didn't just smell nice, she smelled like a goddess. She used frankincense and myrrh as her signature perfumes. While some of us are content with spritzing on a bit of lavender, Cleo went all out. These luxurious scents not only made her smell divine, but also had the power to seduce her admirers. That was why Julius Caesar, Mark Anthony, and King Herod of Judea all fell helplessly for her. Who wouldn't fall under her spell with a whiff of that heavenly aroma? Spa resorts are learners when it comes to beauty care, because this one's a doozy. Cleopatra was so extra that she had a whole farm of 700 donkeys just to provide the milk for her baths. Yep, you heard that right, donkeys. Move over, goat's milk, Cleo's got donkey milk, and it's the secret to her radiant skin. Her bath wasn't just about the milk, it was a full-on spa experience every single day. She added dead sea salt, honey, and almond oil to the mix. Can you imagine the donkeys in a line waiting for their turn to contribute to Cleopatra's beauty regimen? But there's more. Donkey milk isn't just about luxury. It's also packed with anti-aging and therapeutic qualities. Cleopatra knew what she was doing, folks. Her skin was the envy of the ancient world, and she had an army of donkeys to thank for it. Next up on our ancient beauty tour after donkey is hyena. Er, scratch that, henna. Not an animal, henna is a little plant with a big history. Now, you might think of henna as that stuff that people use to create intricate designs on their hands or dye their hair funky colors. But Cleopatra had a different use for it. She was all about those fabulous fingernails. Yup, Cleo used henna as natural nail paint, giving her nails a chic reddish brown hue. It didn't stop there. Henna didn't just make Cleopatra's nails look fabulous, it also gave her nails some serious superpowers. Nail strength and cuticle health were just a few of the perks of this ancient beauty hack. So, the next time you see someone with striking henna art on their hands, remember, Cleopatra started the trend by flaunting those fabulous nails. Ah yes, another of your regular kitchen staples was what Cleopatra turned into a skin cleansing superstar. Unlike the modern trend of using it in salads or detox drinks, Cleopatra reached for apple cider vinegar to pamper her face. She mixed it with essential oils, creating a skincare concoction that would make even today's beauty gurus jealous. What's the secret? Antioxidants. The elements in limes and apple cider vinegar breathed new life into her skin, leaving it radiant and youthful. And do not forget those essential oils that kept her skin constantly moisturized, like a desert oasis for her face. So, the next time you're reaching for your skincare routine, think about Cleopatra. She was the OG of face pampering. Now, we all know that Cleopatra had a thing for luxury, and that included her beauty treatments. 
Another one of her favorites? Dead Sea Salt. She wasn't just a fan, she was a devotee of this natural wonder from across the classical world. But unlike today's fancy spa treatments, Cleopatra used dead sea salt as a DIY body scrub. Yep, Cleo was the original DIY queen. Dead sea salt, rich in minerals, was her secret to keeping her skin looking flawless. It exfoliated, treated illnesses, and left her with that soft, supple skin that we all envy. Using dead sea salt is as common today as it was in Cleopatra's time. Just like other beauty secrets, she is the ultimate trendsetter. After a dead sea salt body scrub, Cleopatra would recline on her royal divan. And what's that she's doing? Thinking of another beauty recipe for herself. Then it dropped. She's not sipping a fancy drink. No, she's spritzing her face with rose water. Why, you ask? Well, Cleo believed it would make her blemishes and spots vanish like a magician's rabbit. But that's not all. Rose water is like a skincare magician in itself. It softens, soothes, and smooths the skin, making you feel as luxurious as a queen in her palace. But you don't need a royal decree to use it. You can keep a bottle of rose water handy as your personal skincare genie for whenever your skin feels oily, worn out, dried, or sweaty. Face masks weren't just a pandemic trend, Cleopatra was rocking them over 2,000 years ago. Her weapon of choice? White clay. It was like a spa day in ancient Egypt. This special clay absorbed and exfoliated her skin from the inside out, making her glow like a star in the night sky. And for those with dry or sensitive skin, white clay was a game changer. It cleared pores, healed acne, and left her skin as smooth as the Nile's surface. Cleopatra, the original mask queen, lounging in her palace with her face covered in white clay, looking more radiant than a thousand sunsets. She knew the power of self-care. However, a smear of white clay alone won't do it for Queen Cleo's face. Oh no! Now, we've all heard of beauty sleep, but Cleopatra took it to a whole new level. She slept with a golden mask on her face. Even though the science might not have been as advanced back then, Cleopatra knew what she was doing. Because she was not just a pretty face, she had a big brain. Gold is the knight in shining armor of skincare. It's an antioxidant with anti-inflammatory powers. Uh, my bad, you're not watching a medical linguistic soiree. What gold basically does is that it has superpowers against disease-causing minions. Not only that, it enhances skin suppleness and activates skin cells for renewal. She might as well have been sleeping with a treasure chest on her face. Cleopatra's beauty routine wouldn't be complete if something wasn't done about her hair. Taking her lover's endearments and her cosmetic expertise, Cleopatra came up with a sweet secret for her hair. Honey. She'd mix honey and castor oil and apply it to her locks. Since there were no L'Oreal Paris or Olaplex hair treatments, Cleo used honey as an elixir for repairing dry and damaged hair. And here's the sweetest part that can't be tasted. Honey slows down aging, boosts complexion, and prevents acne. A natural beauty potion straight from the beehive. When we thought it was only just 10 beauty secrets, Cleopatra had an entire arsenal of products for her radiant complexion. Ginger, antimony, calamine, onions, goose fat, turpentine, the list goes on. Each ingredient had its own special purpose, and Cleo knew how to use them like a pro. You can almost hear her giving her beauty secrets to her ladies in waiting. A little ginger for that glow, and don't forget the goose fat for that extra softness. From using one of her secret recipes for hair removal, where she mixed cucumber, gum, oil, and crushed bones of a specific bird, to not just focusing on her looks, but paying attention to her breath as well. Cleopatra chewed cashew pastilles to ensure her breath was as sweet as her beauty. These little mints were her secret weapon against bad breath, and they probably came in handy during all those late night meetings with Mark Antony. With her pellets of carob and essential oils that let her essence stay fresh as a lotus blossom, you can only imagine how exuding a scent would make even the finest perfumes of the time jealous.